Hello, ni hao, hola. My name is Maria Gutierrez. I'm with Judicial Process and Support. We're a process serving company specializing in international service of process. Today, I want to talk to you about a service that we just got back from Uruguay. So what we did was, because Uruguay is part of the Inter-American Convention, we completed uh, the USM 272, which is this uh, form. And the difference between the USM 272 and the USM 94 is that this is a request from a judge in the court where it was filed in the United States to the judge where it's going abroad. So in this particular case, this is a foreclosure state matter that was filed in Florida. The judge executed the application and then it was sent to the central authority in the United States and they also executed the application as well. Once they got to the court in Uruguay, this is what happens and we get a cover sheet and all the documents back, all the court documents. So we get this entire packet back, which includes all the documentation and the package that was sent for the service. In this particular case, we had two defendants. So therefore it was necessary to do two applications. What I like about well, when it's going abroad to a court is that there's an actual cover sheet that explains what the case number is in that country, uh, what the authority is, and then it also gives the timeline as far as answering the complaint is within 20 days. All the documents that were prepared in this court in Uruguay are in Spanish. They're all signed. Here's all the signed original documentation. And then we get all of back all of the attempts that were actually attempted with the officer's signature. And then this document does actuación which is the actual document that explain how the service was conducted. And then you get additional documentation. This is from Oficina Central de Notificaciones and it's stated and signed. Um, and you just get a whole array of documentation that would happen in the court system in Uruguay and how the process was done. In this particular case, the service actually took 36 days from the time it reached the actual courthouse in Uruguay to the time that the defendant was properly served. So both defendants were properly served in this case. So this is a successful case. In order to have a successful case, we need to have the right application. We have to have the right signatures on the application, the correct translation, and the proper diplomatic channels of sending your documents has to be precise. In this particular case, everything was done according to the law. Now we have this back here in the United States. We're going to have this translated into English. This is coming in Spanish and filed with the court here in Florida so that the case can proceed. If you're considering international service of process, please consider us here at Judicial Process and Support because we get it done. Thank you.